Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanna talk about the battery health on my primary device, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now this device I purchased on launch date last year, which was September. It is now August of 2024. So it's been nearly a year and I wanted to revisit the battery health on this device. And I have to say, I pushed this device to the limits this year with testing and just using this device as much as I could to see how I can push the battery to the extreme, to the maximum. Now, every year I do upgrade my devices from the Pro Max version to the next Pro Max. So 13 Pro Max to the 14 Pro Max, from the 14 Pro Max to the 15 Pro Max. And can you believe we're just about a month away from the release of the next iPhone? The iPhone 16 and 16 Pro lineup is about a month away. Apple will most likely announce these devices early September with a mid to late September release. I'm very excited for that. But let's talk about the battery health because every year I like to take a look at this to see if the technology has actually improved. And as I mentioned, every year I do upgrade my devices on a yearly cycle. So the 13 Pro Max to 14 Pro Max, this is my 14 Pro Max. I used it from 2022 to 2023 for a yearly cycle until Apple released the iPhone 15. So let's take a look at the battery health of one year use on this device. So take a look right there. So maximum capacity on this device, as you can see, is 90%, which is really good actually. It's okay for a year cycle. So a whole year, only 10% drops. So this device could have went at least two years without technically having to replace the battery if I continue using it the way I was using it. So I wanna say it isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. Battery health is pretty good at that point for a year cycle. Two years later, still at 90 because I don't use it. As my primary device, I do test beta software on it, as you can see, obviously, but I don't use it as my daily. My daily has been the iPhone 15 Pro Max, obviously, so I used it from 2023 to 2024 this year until August. It is August 18th, as you can see right there. And let's take a look at some of the information in regards to battery information here. Now, the information is a little different on iPhone 15 Pro Max. You have the charging optimization options, and then you have the battery health section. So right here, we get a breakdown. And let's take a look at some of the things Apple mentions in regards to this specific device, the iPhone 15 lineup. So the original battery was designed to retain at least 80% of its capacity at a thousand cycles under ideal conditions, as you can see right there. So right now, as you can see, I have 422 charging cycles and the battery health is at 87. I think by the time I hit 500, I'm going to be about close to 80% maximum capacity, which is half of what Apple claimed on this right here, as you can see. And it is lower than the iPhone 14 Pro Max from last year. So as you can see there, 87 versus 90 on the 14 Pro Max. And uh, this device battery was manufactured on August 2023 and first used September 2024. It is August 18th, 2024. So it's been nearly a year since I used this device for everything. So my GPS in my car, texting, browsing social media, everything everyone does, music, I mean everything. And it's now to 87% and I've pushed this device to the limit as much as I could, and it's at 87%. Now, within the next month or so, I'm going to stop using this device because I will be upgrading to the 16 Pro Max, but I wanna say before I get rid of this device or stop using this my daily, I think it's going to drop to at least 85%, which is 5% less of a capacity from the previous generation iPhone 14 Pro Max. So in regards to you know longevity and durability, it looks like the battery on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, at least based on my experience and my usage, was slightly better actually than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, as you just saw, as this one is still at 90 within a year cycle use, and this one is at 87 and most likely dropped to like 85 before the year cycle completes on this specific device. So let me know what your battery health is. If you purchase an iPhone 15 or 15 Pro last year and you've been using it as your daily, what's your battery health? How many cycles? I would like to know from you in those comments down below. And there you guys have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.